video is going to be my empties, my up to now empties because I've been lacking all my videos and I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I've, I've always, I always do this, I am so sorry, I hope you forgive me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, before I go on with the empties, I'm, I'm doing a, I'm currently filming a review for a foundation that I'm wearing right now for this foundation. So if you guys want to see that, um, it will link, it will be linked down below and it will be uploaded after this video right here. <laughs> So yeah, um, if you're interested in this foundation review, just click down below or wait for it to upload because maybe I'll upload them one today and one tomorrow. You guys don't know. So you have to subscribe. Segue, you have to subscribe to see um, when I upload and the videos that I do upload. So um, yeah, just keep on watching. Okay, as always, I have my empties on my... What is this? Strand 18 miles of books from New York City bag and... Yeah, this helps a lot to carry my trash. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This has been um, um, like I feel like four months of uh, things, and so yeah, let's get on with the things that I've used up. So I have a ton of these Pond Evening Soothing, I mean Soothe Wet Cleansing Town. Let's. This is like the travel size that I just literally dropped in here, and then this is like the big size of it. So yeah, I have two of these and these work well. I love the smell. It's like super relaxing. I love the smell. And um, yeah, it works with my makeup. It helps remove my makeup. And yeah, it's just some good cleansing towelette. And I like throwing them on the ground. So next I have this awesome product right here. This is the St. Ives Fresh Hydration Lotion and this is the spray form. So it has a little bit left. So yeah, this is um, it's a spray, um, I was going to say foundation, it's a spray lotion, it smells awesome, it's coconut milk and orchid extract, so it smells amazing, um, and yeah, it helps hydrate, it doesn't feel like greasy, it feels like, literally it feels like it's wet, so I do like that about this lotion, and I, I like it because I'm lazy, I'm a lazy person, and I don't like um, being all greasy and such, so yeah a to this product next I have my um what's this called um I forgot oh this is my med medicated like face wash um this was medicated for me like it was um uh, you guys understand like my dermatologist sent me to buy this okay she's it's a recipe it's a rec oh gosh Okay, so I, I, it's not, it's not over the counter. I had to go to the pharmacy and just ask them to do this for me. You know, that procedure, I really forgot how that is called. So yeah, this is sodium sulfacetamide and sulfur. That big name right there. And yeah, so this is, um, uh, like for, for my acne. And this worked amazing. I had to use this like once a day because it's too harsh. But it did work and I do love it. Um, I don't like the smell of it because it's weird. But it's awesome. I I can't repurchase it, of course. I had to go back to my dermatologist. So it did work. Like my acne is practically all gone and I'm so happy for that. So thanks to my dermatologist, I am on my way. <laughs> and throw it on the ground. So next I have a more lotion. This is my... Um, Wild Mag Madagascar Vanilla from Bath and Body Works, and this thing smells just, just awesome. Um, I was at a summer, I was at a camp, like a summer camp, and I was putting this lotion on, and someone said, it smells like Victoria's Secret, and I'm like, no, it does not smell like Victoria's Secret, this is Bath and Body Works. So, yeah, um, this is the 24-hour, like, ultra-moisturizing um, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, this is the 24-hour hydration body cream. It's like a body butter. So it's super thick and I love it and it just smells awesome. So I have two, two, two more like um, makeup wipe things. Just the same brand as I mentioned before. Next I have again like the usual cotton rounds. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, I have some dry shampoo. This is the Garnier Fructis Volume Instant Instant Botify Dry Shampoo. Gosh, that is a mouthful. 
Answer Dry Shampoo. It smells freaking amazing. It smells like every Garnier for Teeth product. It smells amazing. Um, so yeah, it does work. I really didn't use it that much because I don't, like, my hair is not greasy at all. Like, on the contrary, my hair is very, um, dry. So I need to add oils to my hair so it can look fabulous. So, yeah, dry shampoo works as any other dry shampoo would. Well, not every... Well, not every dry shampoo works the same, but it works either way. Um, next, I have some oil-free acne wash from Neutrogena. It's this, like, the orange one, and it works. It's amazing. It's very, um, good for, like, oil control. It just leaves your skin feeling, like, matte. So, yeah, this is an awesome, um, face wash. And I am throwing everything on the ground. So, it wouldn't be an empties without a Bath & Body Works candle. This is butter, butterscotch toffee. It looks like that. And it smells like yummy and just... Like, what Bath & Body Works candle smells bad? Like, just mention one. Like, maybe you won't like it, but somebody else likes it. And it just smells awesome. And it smells really good. I am so sorry I opened my eyes. Oh my god! I am crazy. What is wrong with me? Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Next, I have another body lotion. I've really been good with my body lotions. Um, this is from Bodycology Bahama Berry Nourishing Body Cream. It, it's like a body butter. It's super thick, and this one smells like candy. This smells freaking amazing. It smells just candy and super sweet. So if you guys want to go to Walmart and smell this, this is the one. Bahama Berry. It smells. Like I just, I can't, I can't even. It smells, it smells awesome. And just throw it on the ground again. Yes, yes. Next I have just some shaving cream, Gillette shaving cream. I use my dad, like I go to his bathroom and just take it. Because I don't, I, I really don't buy shaving cream and I need shaving cream. So I need to buy woman's shaving cream. But it's the same thing. It's a cream so you can shave and it's just, it's just shaving cream. Like why do I need one that smells like a girl? I am a girl. I know I'm a girl. I don't need to. Well, yeah, I don't need like Whatever. Whatever. Forget I just said anything. Um, next, it's the it's the Tana Miracle Leave-In product, which is my love, my everything, my I just love you. Um, this is super awesome. You have to try this if you haven't. Um, this is like my third third bottle of this. I just love it, and I keep repurchasing it because I just it's just it's just, it's just so amazing. Next, I have my Clarisonic. I don't know why I threw this in here because, I don't know, I maybe I, I'm finished with it, but it's not a product. Like, it empties out. But, yeah, um, I've already used three months of it, so that's the time you're supposed to change your Clarisonic head. It's three months. So, yeah, this is the acne head, and I it, the three months, I've used it for three months. So, it's... Okay, I'm going to have to pick up everything from the floor now. Um, so, yeah, I've used it for three months, and it's... It's use is been um, completed. So next I have this Bettina nail polish. So um, this is in the just a clear top coat, and it's so it hardened like it just it, it can't come back to life. So I just need to throw it away, and it's so sad because I need a new top coat now. Next finishing with makeup I have uh, my this was um this is my favorite lip balm before the one I have right now, which is a Nivea lip balm, and I just love that lip balm. But this is the soft lips um lip balm, the cute one, the like the one that's in a cube. I think I mentioned it in one of my favorite videos. Um, so yeah, that is where it's at. It's literally I dug my nail in this so I could finish it, and this is an amazing lip balm. It smells amazing. I don't like the taste of it though, but it's an amazing lip balm. It's super cute. It's way better for me. I feel it's way better than EOS. So yeah, sorry EOS, but I love soft lips and just a big thumbs up. And finally, I have two mascaras right here. Um, I haven't finished them. Well, it's not. They're not finished. It's that they're very old, and I need to throw them out. So the first one right here is a CoverGirl like flamed out waterproof mascara. Um, I didn't use this very much because it's brown. That's what the wand looks like. It's brown and I don't like brown mascaras. I like to say mascaras. Um, but yeah. Ugh. I just... Okay. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Um, 
it's not empty, but it's like it's ruined and it's super dry. Because the CoverGirl mascaras are dry on their own, but when they're like they're like drying out, they're way drier. You know? Do, do you get me? Yeah, you do. So yeah, this is what it was. It was waterproof. It did work. It was awesome. I love all mascaras except the ones that don't work. Like, why would you like a mascara that does not work for you? And finally, this is. I have a love-hate relationship with this little guy right here. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. So, um, this is waterproof. And I loved this mascara. I loved the formula. It smells, like, yucky. So that's when you know when a mascara smells weird to you. That's when you know you have to throw it away. Um, what was I going to say about this? Oh, I loved it because I love the volume that it gives. I love, like, I don't know, the blackness of it. I love the formula. I love the brush. But I don't love this waterproof formula. It is hell to take off your eyes, like your lashes. If you don't have an oil-based, like, waterproof mascara remover, this does not come off for anything. So, yeah, guys, that was the all the empties that I've done that I've emptied for this month um I hope you guys liked it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more of my videos and if you like me because yeah I am weird and I am crazy and yeah I I have nothing else to say um thanks for watching I love you guys I hope you love me too um bye